Hey there. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to get rid of hemorrhoids, step by step. We'll cover natural remedies, lifestyle changes, and when you might need to see a doctor. But first, what are the things you'll need to complete this task? For the full list and where to get them, check the description and pinned comment below. Now that you have all your tools and materials ready, let's get into effective ways to treat and even prevent hemorrhoids. Get rid of it! Start with sits baths. One of the most effective and soothing treatments for hemorrhoids is a sits bath. A sits bath involves soaking your anal area in warm water for about 15 to 20 minutes, several times a day. This helps reduce swelling and relieves pain. Here's how to do it. Fill your bathtub with about 3 to 4 inches of warm water. You want the water to be warm, not hot, as hot water can make the irritation worse. You can add Epsom salt to the water, which can help with inflammation and pain. Sit in the bath, making sure your anal area is submerged. Stay in the water for 15 to 20 minutes. Gently pat the area dry with a soft towel. Avoid rubbing, as this can irritate the hemorrhoids further. Sits baths are recommended by many health professionals, including the American Society of Cologne and Rectal Surgeons, as an effective way to manage hemorrhoid symptoms. Apply witch hazel. After your sits bath, another natural remedy you can use is witch hazel. Witch hazel is plant with natural astringent properties, which means it can help reduce swelling and bleeding. Here's how to apply witch hazel. Soak a cotton ball or pad in pure witch hazel. Gently dab the cotton ball on the affected area. You can do this several times a day, especially after bowel movements. This remedy is supported by research published in the journal Alternative Medicine Review in 2014, which highlighted the anti-inflammatory and soothing properties of witch hazel. Use aloe vera gel. Aloe vera is another natural remedy known for its anti-inflammatory and healing properties. It can provide soothing relief and help heal hemorrhoids faster. You can use it along with the witch hazel. Just make sure to allow the witch hazel to air dry for a minute or two before applying aloe vera gel. Here's how to use aloe vera gel. Make sure you're using 100% pure aloe vera gel. You can find this in most drugstores, or even better, use fresh gel from an aloe plant if you have one. Apply a small amount of gel to the hemorrhoids, gently massaging it in. Repeat this process a few times a day, especially after bowel movements. According to a study published in the British Journal of General Practice in 2009, aloe vera has been found to be effective in reducing inflammation and promoting healing in conditions like hemorrhoids. Over-the-counter creams and ointments. Sometimes, home remedies might not be enough on their own, and that's where over-the-counter treatments come in. Products like Preparation H can provide immediate relief from pain, itching, and swelling. To use these creams or ointments, clean the affected area with warm water and a gentle cleanser. Pat dry with a soft towel. Apply a small amount of the cream directly to the hemorrhoids. Follow the instructions on the packaging regarding how often to apply the cream. According to the Mayo Clinic, these topical treatments can be very effective in managing hemorrhoid symptoms, especially when combined with other remedies like sits baths and dietary changes. Improve your diet and hydration. Now, let's talk prevention. One of the main causes of hemorrhoids is straining during bowel movements, often due to constipation. To prevent this, you need to keep your stool soft and regular. Here's what to do. Increase your fiber intake. Aim to eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Fiber helps to bulk up your stool and makes it easier to pass. Stay hydrated. Drink plenty of water throughout the day, at least eight glasses. This helps to keep your stool soft. A high fiber diet and proper hydration are recommended by the National Institute of Diabetes and Digestive and Kidney Diseases as key factors in preventing and managing hemorrhoids. Practice good bathroom habits. Lastly, let's talk about some simple changes you can make to your bathroom habits to prevent hemorrhoids from coming back or getting worse. Avoid straining. Don't force a bowel movement. If you're not ready to go, it's better to wait. Use soft toilet paper. Rough or scented toilet paper can irritate hemorrhoids. Consider using wet wipes, but make sure they're alcohol and fragrance-free. Don't sit too long. Avoid sitting on the toilet for extended periods, as this puts extra pressure on the veins in your rectum. The Cleveland Clinic emphasizes the importance of these habits in preventing hemorrhoid flare-ups. By following these steps, you can manage your hemorrhoids and hopefully find relief from the discomfort they cause. Remember, if your symptoms persist or worsen, it's important to consult with a healthcare provider to rule out any more serious conditions. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with anyone who might benefit from this information. Also, leave a comment below if you have any questions or if there's a topic you'd like me to cover next. Thanks for watching and take care.